my clients say, tell me, I want full coat, I want full coat, I want full coat. After the third grooming, they're like, I don't want full coat. But we're almost to the point of full coat. So I'm going to show you how I do my puppy trims using the snap-on combs so that I don't get a lot of ridges and all that fun stuff. So we're just going to put her, I think, in more or less like a Westie trim. You know, leave a nice little skirt on her. Give her a nice little round head. Does she stand? Yeah. <laughs> you know, with the news, but no. I'll put one. But you know what? Body. How many of your dogs stand real well for you at the shop anyway, right? Yeah. That's what we're here for. Okay. Yeah. Because she's got a thinner coat. Even though it's long, instead of using a 30 underneath the snap-on comb, I'm going to use a 10 instead. If her coat was real thick, I would use the 30, but I'm going to drop it down to the 10. Don't be scared. I know what I'm doing, really. Don't run away. And I think we're going to use the one blade or peach comb or tan comb, whichever one you call it. I say it's, I call it the tan comb. And everybody's like a 10. No, it's tan. So, okay, what I start to do is I, I leave my coat parted and I start to come down my sides. Rather than just come straight down my back because then I'll end up with a big ridge here. Stay. I bring right down to my elbow like I would on a Westie, and I come straight down off my body. Because even though she's not a Westie, I want to make her appear to look like one. Stay, Ben. Thank you. I better turn around and look at her real quick before I do any more blind grooming. Stay. Stay. Good girl. And I just blend this down in. Okay, same with my other side. Right down to the, it's okay. You don't like this? I stay, 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 stay. Good girl, good girl. It's okay, no, 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 no. It's okay. A lot of times if they're afraid of the clipper around areas, I'll rub it around that area to try and get them used to it. And I'll hold them close too so they can like feel my heartbeat because they do find that soothing and comforting. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. Okay, it's alright. She doesn't like this one. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. And this is nice and easy for your clients to maintain at home with still a little bit of style rather than just short all over. Stay. I come right down to the top of her Kimbo. He got it. Because the Westie actually has a flat little butt. And we're going to do a lot of thinning shear work on her to blend all that in. And before we do a Westie head, I'll show you how I do my ears. Okay. On her, on her. Chest, I'm going to start right about at our Adam's apple. And again, just like a Westie, I'm going to come straight down. Stay, honey. But I'm going to make sure I leave my breastbone cover, like on a Westie. Good girl. Good girl. I've cut 
my coat. Now I'll comb it straight back. And I'll go over it a second time. What did you just spray? Um, I used Crown Royal spray just so I get it because she's so staticky and it just kind of helps keep the static under control. Stay baby. Good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl. If you notice on dogs at your shop that have a hard time standing, they constantly want to sit down. I know it gets frustrating, but actually that dog is not built properly and it has to sit to stay comfortable. So you might want to, you know, if you're having that stressful day and you have that big golden retriever that doesn't want to stand or something, Think of that next time because a lot of times they do have something that's out of whack in the back and they have to sit. That's why a lot of times you'll see them bring one foot forward when they're standing. They're trying to take some pressure off of their back to stand comfortably for you. Okay? Just like we get out of alignment, so do they. Now I can come straight down my back and blend into my sides. Don't leave. And you, you can do that with any group, like Shih Tzu's. Your Shih Tzu's, anything that's longer yeah. coated that they want if we have something that taken we've done off. On, yeah. That we'll have so, yeah. I know you know where stay. Good. touching the table. You want a nice bevel in the foot. Stay back. Okay, it's not going to be perfect Westy hair because it's soft, but we can still give that optical illusion of a Westy trip. And because she has soft coat, I'm not going to comb up this way to trim her coat. I'm going to keep it down and I'm going to comb it forward and comb it back. I'm going to part it down the middle so I don't get steps inside my coat. But I'm going to start out at the top of my foot, I'm going to trim to the stifle, and then I'm going to go to my tuck up area. Stay, honey. So that I get a nice little U effect. Again, I'm combing out and down. Like it needs 
open up that area. area. So I'm going to take my thinners and I'm going to tap thin. I'm just going to make a couple of swipes at first and see if it lays down. I don't want to go from underneath because when I go from underneath I'm actually starting to make layers. And that dog might go home looking good that day, but when it comes back the hair is going to start to puff out because that's how that hair is going to start to grow. All those little hairs are going to shoot outward. Whereas actually I'm cutting the ends off. I'm going to neaten up some of the stray hairs on my leg with my thinners. So that it looks natural, but I'm still taking off a little bit of length so that it lays a little nicer into the bottom of the leg. curves because on a Westie you want to be able to see the two little swirls on the back end. So even though she isn't one, I'm going to try and treat her like one. And they actually, Westie actually has the little triangle here underneath the rectum area. Groomers find that they find it easier to shave underneath the tail. I like to use my shears because this way I never irritate underneath the tail. And I don't have a vet saying that I clip or burned the dog's bum. I want to make sure I get the inside of my back leg. Actually appears that their coat is thicker. So I'm going to take it a little bit shorter than usual just to try and make it look thicker and not so sparse looking. Sure you don't lift your leg too high. You don't want to cause any stress on the on the hip. 